Saint Jean Paul. I'm being dropped off in Beverly for some taste of meat and wine. Hey, Greg. Hey, Dawn. Nice to see you. Wild Blossom Meadery and Winery is the first meadery in Illinois and the first winery in Chicago. Mead is the oldest fermented beverage on earth. It's before grape wine, before beer was around. For years I was in the wine business and I finally moved to Chicago. Ray Daniels, beer guys here in Chicago, turned me on to some phenomenal mead. Mead is pretty simple, honey, water, and yeast. When I first tasted Ray's mead, it just blew my socks off and I said, oh my God, this is what I want to do. You see a lot of other wines, a lot of beers out there, and mead is the forgotten beverage. We're bringing that back to mainstream. This is all starting with flowers, bees, and honey. Yeah. Do you have flowers, bees, and honey yeah, right here? Yeah, we raised about 100 hives throughout the Chicagoland area. Do you think that I can meet yeah, some of your let's, bees? Yeah, let's meet the bees. Okay, <laughs> I like go. that. Let's meet the bees. Sounds good. Here's our hive with about 50,000 bees in it. Each bee makes about a teaspoon and a half of honey. Is that a day? In her lifetime. Two million flowers, 50 million bees, yeah. equals one pound of honey. H honey, which actually equals about one bottle of our mead. He just went right in, pulled up a frame, and I got to see honeycombs and baby bees. Oh my gosh, look at all those bees. <gasps> That's the queen! I'd see a queen bee! I was very excited that I got to see the queen. I did like a little curtsy. This has all got me wanting to taste what meat actually is after seeing how hard they work. Well, we're gonna go to our production room where all the magic happens. I say. And is this um, everything is made right here? Yeah, yeah, we, uh, other than the honey is all throughout Chicago. Right. Generally our tours are on Saturdays, uh, but we do private tours you know, any day of the week. You know, the way we make mead is at Honey and Water. So we use good old Chicago water. It's great water. It's not too hard, not too soft. Perfect pH for making mead. And we mix that with the honey to the same consistency as grape juice. So we put it in this tank here with a big propeller in there. Honey and water together, what's the next step? Then we run it over to our fermentation tanks. Here is our uh, primary fermenters. This is where the yeast consume the honey and turn into alcohol. So are we going to be now tasting some of these 20 to 30 meads that you make here? Yeah, hopefully we can make it all through 30. <laughs> oh, yes, you got a challenge. Sounds challenge good. accepted. Sounds Let's good. taste. Okay. <laughs> we start our taste test right out of a barrel. So you have wine barrels and you have bourbon barrels. So this is a uh, Four Roses uh, bourbon barrel. Uh, Gosh, is this awesome. I cannot believe I'm getting to taste this right out of a barrel. Yeah, you say wassail. And then wassail? Wassail means to your help. What's that? I thought this was like, what's that? What's yeah. that? It really did taste like heaven. Need more, more, more. <laughs> more. This is our mead flight, tasting and tap room where you can actually taste flights of mead. The first mead we're gonna taste more of a sparkling mead, a little bit lighter. Oh, it is, it's sparkling. It was very refreshing. I could see accidentally drinking a whole lot of this. So, so the next is our hibiscus mead. What's that? What's that? Now nice. this one is like a little bit fun and tart. I am a mead believer. I am a mead groupie. I am in love with mead. It's been so amazing. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Oh, Wasal. Is Wasal. Mead is delicious. You have to come. My wheels are turning already of thinking how I want to put all of my friends in a train and come here and taste it.